Blessings and merry meet, gentle lords and ladies. Their bands having been published, we are here today to join the fair lady Jessica and the noble Lord Christopher together. They have asked you here to share in their joy and to declare their love for one another before you as a community. Lord Christopher, art thou here this day in pledged troth of thy own free will and choice? I am. Lady Jessica, <laughs> are you here this day in pledge troth of thy own free will and choice? Hi, Father. Inasmuch as this noble lord and fair lady have pledged their troth to be married this day, we call upon heaven to bless this union. Therefore, if any one of you can show just cause why they may not be joined together, by God's laws or the laws of this realm, let them speak now or else hereafter keep silent for all time. <clears throat> Lest it not be overlooked, however, there is a rumor amongst the fair lady's people that any such scurrilous objector shall be later beheaded <laughs> at the feast for the entertainment and amusement of the lords and ladies in attendance or you people <laughs> there being no objection to this marriage let us continue best man present the blade swear now lord christopher on this sacred blade that there is no reason known to you that this union should not proceed I swear. Lady Jessica, is there any reason known to you, oh fair Lady Otto, why this partnership why this partnership should not be made? No. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, creator of all things good, both in heaven and earth. We humbly ask thee to bless this union. May these thy servants seek goodness all the days of their lives. May they be strong in defense of what is right. May they be united as one, even as thou art with God. May they be numbered amongst thy flock. We humbly pray in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Do you, Lord Christopher, take unto thyself the fair lady Jessica to be thy rightful lady and wife and pledge unto her before God and these witnesses to be her protector, defender, and sure resort to honor and sustain her and in sickness and in health, in fair and in foul, with all thy worldly powers to cherish, forsaking all others, keep thee only unto her as long as ye both shall live. I do. Fair Lady Jessica, 
that you <clears throat> take unto thyself the noble Lord Christopher to be thy rightful Lord husband and pledge unto him before God and these witnesses to honor and cherish him, to cleave unto him in sickness and in health, in fair and in foul, be his one true and lasting counselor and solace, and forsaking all other, keep thee only unto him, so long as ye both shall live. I do. Ring exchange. Ariana. You take her in. Yeah. <laughs> Heavenly Father, bless these rings, which noble Lord Christopher and fair lady Jessica have set apart to be visible signs of the inward and spiritual bond which unites their hearts. As they give and receive these rings, may they testify to the word of the covenant made between them. Lord Christopher. Lady Jessica. You got it? Hmm? You got it? Yeah, I'm putting it on there. Do you, do you receive and wear this ring as a symbol of his trust, his respect, and his love for you? I do. Lord Christopher, do you receive and wear this ring as a symbol of your trust and respect and love for her? I do. The circle will now seal the vows of this marriage <laughs> and will symbolize the purity and endlessness of their love. The hand fasting ceremony begins. As this knot is tied, so are your lives. Whoa, hey, come back. <laughs> As this knot is tied, so are your lives now bound. Woven into this cord, imbued into its very fibers, are all the hopes of thy friends and family, of thyselves, for a new life together. With the fashioning of this knot, you tie all the desires, dreams, love, and happiness wished here, in this place, to your lives for as long as love shall last. In the joining of hands and fashioning of knot, you are... Your lives are now bound one to another. By this cord, you are thus now and forever bound to your vow. May this knot remain tied for as long as love shall last. May this cord draw your hands together in love, never to be used in anger. May the vows you have spoken never grow bitter in your mouths. As your hands are bound to this cord, so is your partnership held by the symbol of this knot. Two entwined in love, Bound by commitment and fear, sadness and joy, by hardship and victory, anger and reconciliation, all of which bring strength to this union. Hold tight to one another through both good times and bad, and watch as your strength grows. Bless this union, O Lord. Go ahead. The knot has been tied. <laughs> Woo! Thou hast pledged troth of thy own free will and sworn upon the sword that thou hast exchanged rings and been bound together by the ritual of the cords. May it be granted that what is done before the gods may not be undone by man. Before I pro proclaim you joined, thou must kiss. By the power vested in me by the realm, <laughs> I pronounce you Lord Christopher and Fair Lady Jessica.
husband and wife. Ladies and gentlemen, the bride and groom. Milk toast? I'm not sure. But are you ready? Lactose. To lactose. Oh, I like that one. So that's it for the bride and groom. And I know the bride married the most wonderful person in the world. But there's another person that's called the best man. I don't know why he's the best man. I figured she married the best man. <laughs> before we launch into a speech, let me pull over that. Yes. Huzzah! 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 Nobody got a knife put out. Yes, a wee little taste to the best man for the toast. I know. Your name, sir? Nathan. 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 All right. The one that's man the mate, Nate. The toast. I had a speech prepared, but I ran it by him first, then he fed it to a duck. <laughs> it's been that way since I've known him. But, no, I'm very blessed to be here, and I'm so happy that he's finally found someone that's sane, loving. She fakes it really good. <laughs> loving. And he has been very happy, it made him very happy. Yeah. So, here's too many years, hopefully for the rest of your life, and I've already offered to end it to you if you're not happy with you. This is lovely couple. Christopher and Jessica. But toast all you wonderful people. Oh, hopefully warm toast, because cold toast sucks. <laughs> to a beautiful maiden, who I am blessed to have knocked over the I mean, <laughs> wooed. Wooed. And taken back to my cake, my home. Real estate's tough, all right? Jokes aside, though, guys. This woman is the center of my universe, and I can't think of anyone better to drink to. And I can't think of a better crowd of people to drink it with. Here, here. A toast here, here, here. to Lady here, here, Jessica. Here, here. Here, here. Yeah, I'm I'd like to make a toast to my sister. I love you both so much. Jessica, since I was born. <laughs> and um, it's just so amazing to like 
watch her throughout her whole life and you know there's highs and lows and sometimes you learn and sometimes you know, that's fine and in the woods building clubhouses and uh see even past that and we're all growing up Oh, okay. I, I, I missed the beat something. No, you're good. And um, I just want to say that I'm so happy to see you guys together, and I'm so excited to have a brother. That's all. Any other toast? Eggs, bacon. Eggs. I will. I will try. You make me so happy. You always give me so much space. Always That board. All right. So, here chivalry reigns. Thus, I shall allow my lovely queen to see. Now, this is a traditional blessing that has been going in our village for, I believe, nigh on 24 years. It's actually written for my mother. A rose clings tight to trellis and an ivy to its home. Forever two together and never apart to grow. A swan has but one partner, one make for them they'll be, two souls entwined until the end of time, and as for them, so too be. Two hearts joined together, two lives lived as one, and may no other come between you as love its course is well. And as all blessings must be sealed, Huzzah! Huzzah! Do you wish to be knighted? Do you wish to be knighted? Do I think you use your blade or mine? So you use your blade. Uh, you may kneel as you wish or you may stand. It's your choice. Uh, here, if you want to stand, do it. Hey, audience! Stick around for the next show. You will not regret seeing the witch's crown. The name of St. George and St. Michael. Thanks for coming to the Dead Bunch Show! In the name of St. George and St. Michael, I hereby dub thee a knight of this realm. Congratulations and rise, knights. Can you tell a lot of that pretty music? Three cheers! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! All right. Now, knights, you can accept the quest, yes? Are you willing to accept the quest? Will it? All right, good. Your quest is very simple. So you should take care of you. You should take care of you. Agree? Yes. Excellent, excellent. All right, three cheers. Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! All right, last but not least, each and every one of you, you don't get off the either. So are you willing to accept the quest? Yes. 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 That's not very enthusiastic. Let's try this again. <laughs> are you willing to accept the quest? Hell yes! Good, good. Your quest is very simple. 
whether they wish it or not, I wish each and every one of you to take care of this lovely couple. You all agree? Yes. yes. Good. One final time. Three cheers. Hip hip. Hooray. 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 Hip hip. Hooray. Hip hip. Hooray. 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 Yes. <laughs> Agreed. <Yeah. laughs> right, thank you, my lords and ladies. We wish you the rest of your day is excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Sorry. He put his hand out, and I was like, <laughs> "He was like, oh, my man's right here." Sir Brock, are you in the race? Sir Brock!